Assalamu alaikum guys. So this video is the first day in Amman. So when we landed in the beautiful city of Amman in Jordan. So we landed in the city around 3.30 a.m. So this was like an hour before Fajr Salat. So on the way to the apartment, we could actually hear the Adhan um, the call to prayer throughout the city and honestly it was such an amazing surreal experience because we hadn't had that in Greece so honestly it was something I really really enjoyed on the way to the apartment and then after this after Fajr Salat we dozed off and then kind of woke up around like breakfast time I guess it was because the Zohar Salat was really early there like I believe it was like 11 30 a.m or something so after eating breakfast we had to quickly go and find a masjid so we were in the new city of Amman which meant that we had to like kind of explore and we went we went walking because we prefer walking and trying to explore as much as we can but the thing is in the city of Amman there isn't public transport so yeah we kind of were walking on the side of the road because there wasn't any pathways where we were but then we went further up we actually located the masjid and then we were able to do our Zuhar Salat there. And then after offering our Zuhar prayer, we were kind of just checking out this new masjid being built next door. And then one of the brothers was like, Ta'al, Ta'al, you know? And then we thought he, call, he was calling someone else. And then we like looked over and then he was like calling us over. And then he like started asking us questions, where are you from? And honestly, it was so nice. The Jordanian people honestly are such lovely people. Right away, just from that, like, he, he started speaking with us, then he's like, come inside, I'll show you inside, and then, yeah, so we got a full tour of the masjid, so we were able to go, he showed us the inside, the outside, downstairs, he pretty much showed us why they were designing it in that way as well. Oh, honestly, it was so cool, and then, there were so many different things to it, and then he actually showed us the way up to the top, which is the minaret. This is the minaret where one day, a Mu'adhan will call the Adhan, and we had the experience of going to the top, and we could see the whole city of Amman. So one day he'll be doing the Adhan here and the whole city will be able to hear this Adhan as well. So this call to prayer. And honestly, it was such a sur surreal experience. If you're someone who's actually scared of heights, going up to the top here might not be the best thing for you. Because even for me, like I'm not scared of heights, but climbing up those stairs, because there's no rails. It's like you kind of go inside and then all the way up and then yeah, it's something a little bit different. So the lead architect, Brother Tariq, actually told us this masjid is called Masjid Hudayfa bin Al Yamin Masjid. So this masjid is, I believe there's another one they already call that too, but this one is in the new city. And honestly, if you just check out these designs, like look at this is how it looks now. Like you can just see, like the design is, it's something really, really unique. Like you walk in, there's a courtyard. They've got the palm trees. So the masjid was actually supposed to be open for Ramadan this year. But with the whole COVID situation and everyone being unlocked in, I don't think that's happened. Make dua that the brothers and all in that locality get to experience that masjid as well. And that it ends up being a beacon of light for that community as well. Because when we were there, like there were little kids running around in that same area, you know, playing soccer. And honestly, it was so nice to see. Wow. It's a big extension. For the downstairs. So if you look at this uh, design here, um, so brother was just telling us like usually when you're in a masjid, right, in the front of the imam has to come and lead salat. He has to walk through like all the stuffs, right. So you gotta like move people out of the way. So just showing us like this. This is gonna be behind the mihrab and all. So the imam will be able to walk up the stairs through the door straight from his own place. So if you look over here, right. So we're just walking back down. So this will be like the entrance. So he'll come straight out of his own room. So this will be like his room here, right? So the door will be here. So he'll just like do, do, you know, get ready and and then yeah, walk straight up. 
that's quite a cool design it's, it's really nice like you don't usually see that so this was the masjid and then the next day we got prepared for our palestine trip so last minute accommodation and all of that but yeah i'll explain that in the next video so this video is kind of a short and sweet story mainly because a lot of my footage once again was lost on that sd card and it was up until this point that i realized uh oh, not i realized i realized now but it was at this point that i kind of had swapped the sd card around or the day after well i'm hoping so I'll check my footage for Palestine and hopefully it's all there. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you want to see the Palestine video and how we went there, the, the experience we had going from the Jordanian side to the Palestinian side and through the uh, security forces in the middle, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification because the thing is YouTube only reaches people, not if you're just subscribed, but also if you get notifications as well. And to end this video off, here's a call to prayer in the beautiful city of Amman. Thanks for watching and inshallah I'll see you in next week's video or the next video. Assalamu alaikum.